So we've got a question, Drew and I, do you think Usain Bolt is clean? Recently there was an article by Victor Conte, the former head of the Bauco Lab, criticising the Jamaican track athletics doping program, saying there's not enough transparency on testing procedures and how many tests are being done. What is your thoughts, Drew and I? Do I think... Well, what do I think? Well... Usain's never failed a drug test, and neither did Lance Armstrong, neither did Marion Jones. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter, right? It's, it's like, I'm not saying Usain's on the juice. What I'm saying is it doesn't really matter. When you're an Olympic icon, whatever, you know, like, as people don't really care. People want to believe in a fairy tale, or right, whatever. The reality is, what's the definition of clean? I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it's so warped in society. Like, if you load up on caffeine and do a running race, it's like, whoa, oh, you know, I don't know, it's a bit edgy. But if you load up on caffeine and go to do your work at the office job, that's all right. If you're an athlete, professional athlete, you can take a host of pharmaceutical products which come under therapeutic use exemption. You can taste... Take a lot. You can take modafinil. You can take salbutamol. You can take tam to tramadol. You can take cortisone. You can take cortisone, man. You can take uh, androl. You can take primo testin depot. You can take sustin and two fifty. You can take androl. You can take uh, rianadron one thousand. You can take a lot of stuff and be clean legally. What you can't take is EPO. You can't do blood doping. You can't do human growth hormone. All these three things. Pretty much undetectable. Pretty much undetectable. You're also allowed two out of competition tests where you can not turn up in an 18th month period. So if your glow time is a bit sus, you can go, well, shit, I'm going to skip that drug test. And you're allowed to do that twice in 18th month period. Three strikes, you're out. So two strikes, you're good. <laughs> so basically, and testing at the Olympics is pretty much an IQ test. Most drugs efficiency doesn't happen you don't take drugs on the race day it's more the training beforehand you get the 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 glycogen retention from the testosterone or whatever you're using you get the hematocrit the hemoglobin levels right up the red blood cell function because if you're on steroids during competition you're almost a bit stiff and you hold too much water retention it's okay if you're a power lifter or a super heavyweight boxer that's all right but if you want to be agile and fast you don't want to have too much water retention so by cycling off before a big competition and you clean anyway, it's an IQ test. In competition, drug tests are pretty much IQ tests. Pretty much. Especially one day events. If you get popped on a one day event, you're pretty fucking dumb. <laughs> considering how easy it is to pass them all. Out of competition testing today is easy to pass. Because if you're using fast acting stuff like androl, uh, testosterone and decanate, that can be out of your system almost in 12 hours. So testing procedures generally from 10pm to 8am. So 10 30 or 10, 10 past 10 p.m. is generally a pretty busy time in professional sports. Now, that's with, you know, but you can do it legally as well, all the good stuff, most of the good stuff legally. And all the good, the, the really, good, really, really good stuff is pretty much undetectable. So what are you going to do? So what are you going to do? You know what I mean? It's like people are just, people don't know how it works, do they? they got no fucking idea. But what I like about Usain Bolt, what I love about Usain Bolt is his positive attitude. He's a bit like Lance Armstrong. He's just got this attitude of like, this is my fucking goal, man. This is what I fucking want to do, and I fucking work towards that. I do whatever it takes, and I'll, this is my goal. So if you watch a lot of Usain Bolt documentaries, he's very just driven. This reminds me of Lance. Just fucking do what it fucking takes. Do what it takes. Usain seems less of a, a prick than Lance sort of was, but if you watch his documentaries, he's quite upbeat gives a lot of attention to the crowd and stuff like that. So I really enjoy that. That's what I focus on about Usain Bolt. Is he clean or whatever? Who really cares, man? Who really cares? It's professional sport, man. You're paid to fucking win. <laughs> it's just not clean. They're paid to fucking win, man. Their job is to fucking win. Okay? It's to fucking win. It's not to come second or third or tenth. It's the fucking win. That's your job. Do your fucking job or someone else will fucking do it for you. That's pretty much how it works, man. So I don't know why people ask me these stupid fucking questions. I do know why they ask me because they don't know. But anyway, so I think Usain Bolt, great athlete. And I think he's got a good 
role model for just being a down-to-earth guy. That's what he appears to be in the public eye. Down-to-earth, upbeat, and positive. So he gets a double thumbs up from Duran Rado. Usain's diet, that's another story. He does eat a lot of bananas and yams. His dad claims his banana and yam diet, that's his like staple, isn't that power, since he's a little kid. If you watch some of the, the quotes from Usain Bolt's dad. Usain Bolt says he'll eat anything, but he likes to focus on his bananas and yams. Another quote from Usain Bolt, my hunger is always there. My hunger is always there. So I'll leave you with that quote from Usain Bolt, my hunger is always there. You've got to have hunger in life. If you want something, you've got to have some hunger for it. The hungry person gets it.